What's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Eric Three the Second. I'm here with Athens reporter Nick Ursini covering one of our very first postseason matchups. We had Galley Academy, the nine seed, playing the Athens Bulldogs, the eight seed. Wow, man. Galley Academy pulled it off. Game winning shot, three seconds left. Knocks off the Lady Bulldogs, 57 to 56. Nick. Athens didn't score until two minutes left into the first quarter. Why did they get off to such a slow start? So it was kind of a combination of Gallia being good with Athens being a little bit slow. They opened the game on a 15-0 run, and they were completely out-rebounding them on the glass. They, they out definitely were bigger than the Lady mm -hmm. Bulldogs, and it definitely showed on the court. And I, Athens was also really cold from the field. Laura Mandrick, their star, right. was 7 of 20 for the entire game from the field, and Kaylee Stewart was 5 of 12. They were just... They just didn't look like the same team that they were rolling off uh, the win against Wellston. So if that's how they played the entire game, what changed for them if they weren't playing well? Well, you know basketball. It's got four quarters in it, not just one. <laughs> so to start off the second quarter, their intensity, it was just, it was their intensity. The fire in their eye, um, you know, they were, they were playing feisty defense. You know, they were forcing a lot of turnovers and they got, you know, good movement from the ball, you know, working the ball around, getting it down low. And they were like, a, and they ended the half on an 11 to two run. They were actually up, you know, by five points. And it, it was, it was a very good game to say the least. All right, so take me through the final few minutes of the game. Back and forth, neck and neck. How did the Blue Angels come away with this one? So with about 2.30 left, Athens was down 53 to 48. Um, Olive Harder got to the line. She made her two free throws, and they're down by three. Right. And after some back and forth, no one scoring. With 16 seconds left, Olive Harder brought the ball up, spotted up, hit a beautiful three-pointer right, on, right on the top of the key. Up by one, right? This puts them up by one. Okay. Yes, I, yes, this puts them up by one. And then um, Galley Academy gets the ball down. They call a timeout. And then they get a ball knocked off Athens. So okay. six seconds left. They're under the basket, their own basket. And after just a, a pretty well-designed play, I can't deny it was a, it was a very well-designed play where um, they found Janelle Stevens number five for a wide-open layup with about three seconds left. Um, Olive Harder had a chance, you know, about a three quarters. She kind of, you know, hit it off the backboard and it kind of hit off the side of the rim, but ultimately, it did not go down. And it was it was very emotional. Um, you know, I, I know their assistant. I, I know their assistant coach, and he's already been texting me saying that the girls, uh, you know, they were they were upset. Obviously, unfortunately, they only have one senior, so it's kind of like, you know, se se young team. seniority kind of you know overplayed the the underdogs, if you mm -hmm. would. You, got, you, you know, you know, in playoffs, you get that refuse to lose yeah. attitude, and unfortunately, Galley Academy just kind of pulled it out at the end. Um, but like I said, I was talking to their assistant coach, Coleman Murray who was telling me that the girls, they already want to shoot around tomorrow, man. You know, countdown to next season. It's already underway for the Athens Lady Bulldogs. I mean, when you have such a, a young core, you never know what's going to happen in the future. And it's great that they want to get back out there. They want to bounce back. It's nice to see, but Lady Bulldogs, man, they they did their best. And it was a good season for them. They gave it everything they had, man. They sure did. But Nick, thank you, sir. You can keep up with all of our content at WOUB.org. You can follow us on Twitter at Hardwood Heroes. You can follow your boy as well at Junior underscore three. Like us on Facebook. We're also on Snapchat at Hardwood Heroes. Keep up with all of our content. Nick, thank you again. Tough one for the Lady Bulldogs. But as always, I'm your host, this your reporter, reminding you to be heroic.